Welcome back everybody, this is the Uncharted Vapor and today I'm doing a review on a product that was sent to me for the purposes of review. Now this is going to be an easy review. We don't need to do it down low guys and break things down to pieces. Why? Because the mod is simplistic. All I'm going to do is show you two renditions of this mod, okay? And with that, I'm going to show you a secret on this mod so that way the people who maybe bought it have bought it don't know it or have do know it but have not told nobody whatever the case may be but if you decide to buy it you'll know it if you see this video wouldn't that be awesome that'd be great all right so what we're going to talk about today is called i'm going to use the brighter box i think it shows up better the dpm sultan so this is coming in their blue box on this rendition and then the other rendition is going to come in this box, which is going to be a new, same, same mod, basically, same chip, just a bigger battery. So, what's in the blue box is like the DPM Thought 2 I have. I have three of them. And the box changed, I think, on the last one, which went to a brown box, which was the Ultimate Edition, but the first two were no the first one was a brown box the last two were blue boxes this one is that same blue box so it's just typical standard style box that you get with a flip top magnetic clip and this is it so in the box as you open it what you're going to get is going to be the card telling you what mod you have um next I'm going to see if I can get this one out. And I think I understand why he did what he did on the new one. But, yeah, let me pull this mod out. Do like that. Then we'll take that. Let me do that. And then we'll do this. All right. So you're going to get your card. Let you know what mod it is. Generally on the back, this one was just sent out to me. Um, and majority of the time most people here and around the world will get it but usually it will say thank you his name and your serial number on it and usually the date it was made generally is what's put on it that was what was done with the dot too but you're gonna get on this one you're gonna get a matching drip tip with it this one here you can't see probably too well because of the way it is but I'm gonna show you the mod and you'll give you an idea so the mod itself it's called the Sultan and here it is. It's made out of blue Juma. I think this is Dragon Juma. Or it might be Snake Juma. I'm not sure. Um, but it's a DNA 60 18650 mod. Now, this is meant for a 22 to 23 millimeter max, I believe, atomizer. So with that, you would just unscrew here. I got it, it screwed all the way in for me right now. But and you would drop your battery in okay I'm not going to use this this was sent to me for the purposes of comparison with the new one where a customer and friend allowed me to review this to show both of them so people can have an option so this will be eventually sold to somebody so with that I have not taken any hits or puffs or nothing on this and I don't play with it you know because I once want to have it but I'm going to show you something so on this here all you have to do is twist the battery tube clockwise okay pull it up gently straight up okay it's threaded on the bottom and it's threaded on the top okay and then this is all you're gonna have a shell right well if you want to update it or change something all you do is flip it around and sitting on the inside right here is your USB port for the evolved chip now you are able to upgrade it put your custom themes in it um, right now it says I think it's I forgot what it says on it when it opens up but I do know it says at the end it says Sultan um, like all his mods do when it comes in it'll say during like DPM or something and it'll say dot do at the end and then that's a startup screen like billet box has it says billet box and then it has Dino the Dino and then bam your screens on but I wanted to show this 
This is where your USB port is. It's located right behind your battery tube. Very easy to reinsert it. Just push back your um, USB port, slide the tube right over top of it just like that. Real simple. It's not going to make contact and then all you do, screw it back down. Easy peasy lemon squeezy everybody. And don't over tighten it. Don't keep cranking it, especially if you got Juma stab, hybrid stab, whatever. Because if you do, you're going to end up taking a chance of cracking and breaking it something. I don't know. I don't want to see you. You'd have to send it back and get it fixed and prepared. But then again, on the bottom, it's going to be... Let's go ahead and get this cleaned off, polished a little bit. <laughs> All right. It's going to be where your serial number is located. And then your selector buttons are on the bottom. It's recessing just enough. So if you set it down, it's not going to adjust your wattage automatically for you so with that i'm not taking hits off this guy it's not this one um i've been testing another one which i'm about to show you because this is going to be a lucky owner's now aesthetically wise how does it feel in the hand for the 18650 i'm gonna tell you right now this is probably one of my favorite mods to date for a tank that I've held in my hand because it is small, compact, sci-fire, DNA, and everything just fits comfortable. My hand fits right over it. I know my tank will sit on it just right, just perfect height for everything. And the sci-fire button, I love it. Matching button. Something like this, I probably would have went with a black Cerakota tube with a black O-ring just to give it a little more contrast, but that's me. I like it. Same thing I did with my Ultim one. I have a black tube and black O-ring and black bottom base, so the base will be black as well. Okay, that's just me. I I'm different, but this has the polish set up on it. Really nicely done. Very well done. Fits perfect. No gaps inside of it. Very well made mod, high end all day long um, prices. Now, this is what's going to blow your mind. Because when I show you the second one, it's really um, something to just really blow your mind. Where is it at? Where is it at? Where is it at? Where is it at? Everybody's waiting for me to tell them. All right. So, the pricing is the same. If you ever had a DT, yep. <clears throat> DPM dot two, here's your prices. Juma, this one right here, 370 US. Stabwood, 350 US. Ultum, $300. And for Delrin, like this, the D60E Delrin body, you can get it engraved usually and stuff for just a little bit extra if you want to. He puts like skulls or whatever you like on it. He did another one. It's really cool. I'm sorry, I'm just getting off track there. But 250 US dollars. So if you're going to break these prices down into Philippine pesos um, and you're buying this in the Philippines and you're going to send the money over at... Three hundred and seventy seventy dollars is thirty five hundred pesos. Three hundred is fifteen thousand. So you're looking at eighteen five for a Juma. For a stab wood, you're looking at seventeen five. For the Ultim, fifteen thousand, and for the Delrin, you're looking at twelve five for the Delrin editions. All right, now that goes for both the 18650. What I'm about to show you as well, the 21700 edition for those who want extremely long battery life. So let's close that, set this over here to the side, and now I will show you. So you're going to get your card again your matching drip tip as you see this one's clear and stab wood mixed okay no i have not used the tip because i used the one off my tank 
I don't want to put my my crusty jammies on someone else's tip, especially with COVID right now. I could clean it and everything else, but I ain't doing that. I just won't do that to the person. So we're going to put their tip back in the box and the card. All right. So exact same thing. I'm not going to do it on this one here. Well, heck, I'll do it. You just unscrew it clockwise up and right there is your USB port also on the 21. Just put your finger lightly down, slide your tube down till you get it to go over it, put it down and then counterclockwise to re-tighten it back in. Once you get it in, you're done. Then unthread your top. Now, this is set up a certain way. It's gonna be positive side, down, negative up as soon as you turn this on let's see if this can be seen in the camera we're gonna turn it on it says DPM and Sultan so then the mod comes in now I'm on the same battery I've been on as the guy let me test this I've been doing this now on day four, exact same battery, same tank. The tank I'm using is on the Cabello. You can see that review up there, which is made by Steam Pipes. I have it on a what I call the hybrid setup. I've got a DL um, or direct lung ring in it with the mouth to lung drip tip on it. And I'm only using one airflow hole about a quarter open only because of the e-juice I have inside. I got a 6 mg. I'm using on three. I can only get it in six right now. And everything's breaking upstairs right now. That's my daughter. But um, with that, firing it at 24 watts at 1.7 ohms. Um, now, this one can house up to a 25 millimeter RDA or RTA or RDTA, whatever you like to use. And as you can see on the Cambeo, it is not that much taller. It's a little bit bigger than the 18650, obviously because of battery size. So the body obviously had to get a little bit bigger, but it's still very comfortable in the hands. It's a little heavier, but not that much. Um, the same thing serial number on the bottom number five um, Clear buttons because it went with the same body here so you can see the up and down selector here and a clear button here so I Can see the firing button. That's it. I don't know. Do you really need all that information? Probably not, but fuck it I put it in anyway deal um, But all right 24 watts show you what it does. It's a DNA 60. What do you expect? It's not firing like a machine gun. Why? Because I use a different build. That's one thing I forgot not to do. Is don't purge on this tank because it's literally right in your face. And I forgot the hole that I'm using directly went right up in my, my nose. I'm, I'm, I'm the brightest person in the world. But just a perfect, smooth, easy bake. Now, on this particular one here, I'm running a 32 gauge dual core Alien Nichrome 80 wrapped in, I believe it's 40 gauge, um, which is why it ohms higher and I have more wraps on it. So it does it. I love the Cabello. Um, they call it an RDTA. Dumbest name to me. Um, it, to me, it's an RDA. I mean, shit. shit. RTA because there's no way I'm unless you have it with the direct lung tip going to be dripping inside a mouth the lung style tip so maybe that's why it is so we'll, we'll give it to them on that you know but um, pros and cons on the device um, now because I don't have one personally and I don't I didn't buy one yet um, I don't know, but the only thing I'd like to see is still have that nice touch put on it. You know, thank you, sign it, and serial number, so people know which one is there. So if someone sells this, they know, hey, look, it's real, it's legit, it's authentic, here you go. The card being there, great, awesome, but that signature is just that nice master touch behind it that's always been there with DPM mods. 
you know, from the limo to the what they call the Rasta, or uh, I, I probably mispronounced the mis <laughs> mispronunciated that. Then you have another one that came out with um, another um, dual battery um, mech mod, I think it was. Um, and then I've done the reviews on the DPM Datu 18650 and 21700. You can see those up here as well. Um, then they have the Lacken mod um, that they did, that I did a review on, which um, you can see the review up here as well. Um, which I'm about to review and show you if you're not in a group something cool about that one as well The innovation is going into it. It's really nice I think it was innovative for the fact that they hid the USB port now I think if more manufacturers did something like that it would be more on people's side to taste I can give you an example a Dendro mod I personally would never buy a Dendro not because of cost but because of cost and you don't get a USB I'm not dropping twelve, sixteen hundred dollars on a mod, and I don't even get the USB on it. Now, some people say you can request it for extra. I'm like at sixteen hundred. I think the five dollar USB should be included into that, you know. But that's just my feelings and thoughts. But the innovation of the fact that the that the USB is behind this, it is heat shrinked. It is perfectly done, so therefore it's not going to ground out on nothing. Nothing's touching anything. It's not going to cause a problem. It's awesome. The, I don't have any other issues with it. This does up to a 25 millimeter RDA. How do I know? Because I'm using one right now that's 25 and I'm right at the edge. But I used a beauty ring off another one off the, the Jenna RDA, which was right here to test out. And I put it on with a different tank, a 22 millimeter tank. So it, um, went up there either 24 or 25 is what this tank is I can't remember but it's a bigger tank so with that DNA 60 side fire selector on the bottom like the 18650 USB port in the back um, serial number on the bottom still still goes with the same name um, Sultan um, this one here is a hybrid stab which looks really freaking amazing like you can see the grooves of the wood and then you can see where the acrylic filled in and it's just amazing you know I really like how this came out like honestly like you can see where some of the wood uh, when it died it came through and it bled into you know the resin I just think it looks nice you know it's just it gave it like this frosty look to it and I think it looks really freaking cool so, 21700, yes, it's going to be a little bit heavier than an 18650. Me personally, I would have an 18650 all day long. Why? Because it's so small, tiny, and light. And the tanks that I'm running generally are really small, except for this one. Um, and something like this, I could put on a bigger mod, you know, which is fine. But... That's the review on the salt and so pros and cons. If I rated this from a one to a ten, I would easily give this an eight. Um, you can check it out at DPM Mods International. That's the group, and you can purchase them directly from there. Um, cons on it was only the card. It's the only thing I saw is the cards. Um, there's nothing else, you know. I think should be included with this one because, you know. Um, it's really designed for a tank, honestly. So a beauty ring kind of defeats the purpose with a tank. Yeah, it'd be cool. But it's got a tip that's integrated. So if you have a tank that you can put your own on, like I do with mine, um, I could put the ring attachment on my Cabello and put that drip tip on it. And it'd be perfect. It'd be just like what I have here, but it'd be matching all the way through. Matching body and tip. But I'm not using the gentleman's tip. Um, so shout out to Jean. I think it's how you say it, John or John. Um, but the guy is awesome. Um, he actually sent me two of his lackins that I'm going to show you guys in another review of new renditions. Um, basically, the stab and the hybrids. Um, and you see my review already, which is up there, which is uh, in Ultim. And I have the one in acrylic, which is clear. 
So I think it's really cool. He sent those out and he sent this. These are already paid for, sent them over to me and I got the 18650 cent so I could put them on side by side comparison. And that's about the difference on it. Now I didn't bring my caliper like I normally do, but size wise, just a little bit bigger than that of the 18650 except for the tube. And with that tube adds a little bit more girth to it. But pricing for this, exact same price. If you want a 21700, you're gonna pay the same price as you would for the 18650. It doesn't matter, I asked and I confirmed that. So therefore, join up with the group. And if you're interested in this, and that's what you're looking at to get the mod. Um, it's definitely an amazing time, amazing mod. Um, I love my Datus, and you know when I saw this side by side, I it was like, wow. Um, the only other comparison to the 18650 I could go with would have been that of the Danny SBS, um, which is a little bit taller because of the die coach chip on the top where the screen is on the top of the side by side, and this is actually shorter down with the battery in it because the screen is on the front. And it's a DNA chip, which this chip is really only about that big. Um, that's where a die coach chip is like something like this or something. And then the screens on the top of that. It's a tiny screen. I don't know how they got that. How someone made a screen like that. But they did. It works. So, But with that, guys, that's what I got today for the Sultan Review. So, easy eight all day long. Um, the only, like I said, the only con I have on it, all, you know, at all, would be the card. That's it. It's subjective. It's petty. It's tiny. It's just, hey, that touch just meant a lot. But the craftsmanship and, and the um, ingenuity and the innovation that went into this just really brought it up. You know, I, it, you can go to even maybe even, you know, 8.59 almost. Just because of that alone to me is worth it. Um, so overall, there you go. is a side-by-side -by, -side by DPM Mods International. So I hope you guys enjoyed the review. Don't forget to sub and like. Give me a thumbs up. Drop a comment down below. Ring the bell. Help me out. You know, um, this is what I enjoy doing. You know, and we do, do like to do, do giveaways sometimes. So... Uh, me personally. So with that, until next time, guys, I'll catch you guys on the next review.